Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be an Aldi haul. If you're new, my name is Ashley and I live in Southern California. I have a family of four and I like to share my grocery hauls and how I shop on a budget. So how I shop for my family is I have a budget of $225 for every two weeks. I like to get the majority of it at Aldi as you're gonna see today. I'm gonna give it to you in sections because this is a big haul so I wanna go over everything with you. I'm going to pop up the prices on the screen. Then next week I'll have a video come up that's just our fill-in haul of the things we need to get us through the last week of our meal plan. Usually some fresh produce, um, coffee creamer, milk, that kind of thing. And in that video I'll share with you video clips of the meals that I made. You can also follow my Instagram to see meals we're making each day as the day goes and you can see it in real time. My meal plan's in the description box for you to check out if you want to see it. Also, recipe links are going to be there as well. And I'll go through everything with you for what it's for, how much it costs, and um, the opinions we have on the products. Because I know some of you haven't tried some Aldi products, so I like to do reviews as well. So let's get started, and we will start with the snacks. Starting with snacks, we got these toaster tarts. They are the Aldi equivalent of Pop-Tarts. My kids love them. And we got the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon. We don't do these for breakfast, but my kids like them for a snack. We also got the mini muffins, which are another Aldi brand, but they're so good. My kids devour them. It comes with five pouches, and this is the confetti cake flavor. We also got these chocolate chip cookies, equivalent to Chips Ahoy. These are just another snack that my kids love and um, are very similar to the brand. And then we got this chocolate chip cookie dough, which I feel is very similar to Dryers. If you like Dryers ice cream, you are gonna like this ice cream. So these are the snacks. If my husband loves me so much, he's gonna put that ice cream in the freezer because it is a melting, it is a hot day, and we'll move on to breakfast. All right, for breakfast, we're doing some cereal stuff. I got crispy oats, which you can guess are just like Cheerios. And then my daughter picked out crispy rice cereal, which is just like um, Rice Krispies. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. And they do have name brand cereal as well. If you're interested in different cereals, they don't only have generic, they do have some name brand cereals, but of course I'm going for the budget friendly. Then I'm getting some almond milk. We don't go through a lot of milk, so I get this one because it's cheaper and it lasts longer. Got the unsweetened original. And then for coffee creamer, I got one caramel macchiato. My husband and I usually go through one a week, so we will get another one next week. I got some coffee. I got this last time when I went to Aldi and you guys are right, it's so good. We loved it, so I got another one. I picked up a dozen eggs just to have scrambled eggs with toast. I'm also going to use some of the eggs for French toast. For the French toast, I got this artisanal brioche bread. And my kids really like this for French toast. And then we got one sourdough. We go through one a week, usually for toast with butter in the morning and they only had one, so I'm gonna have to get one from Walmart to get us through. I also got some spreadable butter for the toast, and I got these frozen hash browns for a quick morning option. My kids were with me and they wanted some cinnamon rolls. I don't think these are equivalent to Pillsbury, but they are pretty good, so I got two. And then one thing that I've been really craving are like yogurt fruit parfaits. And there's a place in Disneyland that has them and they put red grapes in them and it's seriously so good. So I'm going to wash these grapes really well and I'm going to layer the grapes with this vanilla yogurt. And then I'm going to slice some strawberries on top. Strawberries are on sale this week so I got three. We have lots of strawberries. My kids love it. Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, whatever. And I also am going to slice some bananas on top and then top it with some granola. I have not tried this granola, so I will be reviewing this granola on my Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description box if you wanna see reviews to new Aldi items or new to me Aldi items. I like to review it there so you can see if we liked it. 
So I'm super excited. I think that's going to be a really good breakfast. And hopefully the kids will like it too. I did want blueberries, but they didn't have any. So I'll keep an eye out for that next week when I do my fill-in. So those are all the snacks and breakfast items. Now for lunch items, I got some crinkle cut french fries. My kids love the Aldi french fries, but these were the only kind they had. We love the season ones the most, um, but this is just something nice to have on the side of a lunch, and it's super fast to make in the air fryer. I also picked up two boxes of shells and cheese. They usually have one a week for lunch, and this is equivalent to Velveeta. I also picked up these hot dogs and some hot dog buns for a fast lunch. Then I got some mandarin oranges. I was just going to get the cans. Um, since we are eating it at home, I don't need it packaged, but they didn't have any. I got some string cheese. I already got into this because they wanted some. It comes with 12 in a pack. I got two packs. And I got these Moo Tubes, which are like Go-Gurts, and I got the Blueberry Strawberry, and each box has eight. They've been snacking a lot since they're home, and they're swimming a lot, and yogurts and string cheese are just very quick snacks that they can just grab for themselves. Next, I got some pepperoni in case they want to do like a Lunchable-style lunch with pepperoni and cheese. We really like this white cheddar. This is like so good. I love that one, too. Then we got some pink lady apples. Oh my gosh, they were over $5. Um, I think this is three pounds. So it was like a good amount, but um, man, it's getting expensive. Then we got Granny Smith apples. My kids just love apples. And if they're eating fruit, it's worth it. It's just that sticker shock, you know? <laughs> I got some 12 green bread for sandwiches. Um, honey, can you grab me the wraps that are in that bag over there? Um, this bread is going to be for sandwiches. I got some new deli meat to try. I don't normally love the deli meat at Aldi, but I wanted to give this one a try. I've never seen it. It's the rotisserie seasoned chicken breast, so I will review this, and I made sure that it's in date and it's not expired. I got some provolone. Their sliced cheese is so good and so affordable, and we really like the provolone, so I got that. Then I got some carrots just so that I can um, peel them and cut them myself. Um, this is two pounds. I got some peanut butter for sandwiches. And then I also got these wraps, which I really like. They're high fiber. I'm trying to increase my fiber a little bit. And they're really good. So we'll use um, the wraps with this deli meat. And then next week when I go to Walmart, I'll get some more deli meat for the following week. I like it to stay super fresh, so I only get one week's worth at a time. So we will see how this is on Instagram, and yeah, that's all of the lunch items. Now let me get the dinner stuff. And for dinner items, tonight I moved the meal plan around. We're gonna do these chicken drumsticks. They have the $3 off sticker. Aldi does um, little red stickers when they reduce their meat when it's getting close to the use by date, which is today. Um, actually, is today the 15th? Yep. So yeah, today. So we're going to have these today. I just season them and cook them in the air fryer till they're crispy. And we have some garlic parmesan sauce for my husband and I to put on ours. My kids just like them with just seasoning on them. And then we're going to have that with rice and salad. So my meal plan changed a bit. We're having that a little earlier than planned. We also are going to do pizza. We love this cheese pizza. You can add whatever toppings you want. It's in the refrigerated section. It's big and it's so good. I got some pepperonis and we can use part of these for the pizza. And then the rest of it the kids can have just for lunches or snacks. I picked up this Carnitas seasoned boneless pork shoulder roast. This is a must buy. It's so good. It's only $1.99 a pound. So this package was $4.35. I just throw it in the um, crock pot and let it cook all day. We're going to do like chipotle bowls one day. And with the leftovers, we're going to do um, taquitos. So that'll be two dinners. I picked up some sour cream to go with that. I love the sour cream at Aldi. It is my favorite. I also picked up an avocado and a lime for that meal. One thing I got from a different store, I ran into um, Smart and Final to get steak. I just didn't like the steak 
how it looked at Aldi. So I got this top sirloin steak for $7.99 a pound. Steak is so expensive. But what I do is I pair meals like this with meals like this that are super affordable and it balances out to stay in budget but still eat the things that we want to eat. I know right now it can be hard to like get some of your favorite stuff, but if you can work it in, you can make it work. You just have to be strategic. So we're gonna have steak with baked potatoes. I also got asparagus to go with that. It's just a favorite meal of ours. Steak and aspar asparagus, I think, go so well together. So that was the first thing I put on this meal plan that everyone wanted. Then I got some chicken breasts. Um, this is going to be for two meals. We're gonna do a chicken stir fry with veggies and like soy sauce. And we're gonna do a broccoli stuffed chicken. That is a new recipe, it's linked below. We're gonna try that out. So I picked up some broccoli for that. I got three bags. I love the Aldi broccoli. <laughs> if you watch any of my videos, I pick it up almost every single time that I go. It's so good. We do Caesar salad a lot as sides for dinner. So I got a bag of romaine and I picked up two bottles of Caesar dressing and I picked up four bags of these croutons my kids love the croutons. I also picked up some Parmesan cheese for that Caesar salad. We needed some onion powder, so I got this. Um, somebody marked or commented last week that if it has a red lid, it's actually a McCormick seasoning, and it's just labeled for Aldi, so I don't know if that's true, but I do like their seasonings. So I got some onion powder. Another meal we're going to do is just smoked sausage on a sheet pan with veggies. I love that, especially with potatoes. Um, just use up whatever you have. It makes a great meal. So I picked up smoked sausage. I also picked up mini bell peppers. We're gonna do that with the smoked sausage dinner. Also with that um, chicken stir fry dish, it's gonna have bell pepper as well. Cabbage was on sale, so I'm gonna saute some cabbage alongside the smoked sausage. I think that will be really good. I picked up some butter because we were out. The kids asked for lemonade. They were shopping with me today, if you couldn't tell. So I got them some lemonade. They also asked for apple juice. Normally we get orange juice every week, but this time we're getting an apple juice. And then the last meal I'm doing is vodka pasta, which is a meatless meal that helps save some money too. And I got some half and half for that. It's literally just tomato paste, half and half, um, Parmesan cheese and vodka and a little butter. And it's so good, makes such a good sauce. Um, I have that recipe linked below. This Parmesan cheese is for that pasta. And to change it up, I got this chickpea rotini, which has a little more fiber in it. So hopefully that will be good. So that is everything that I picked up at Aldi today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to pop the total up on the screen so you can see how much I spent for all of these groceries, including the steak. I am really close to hitting my $200 mark, which only leaves me a little over $25 for next week's budget. So I'm really only gonna get some fill-in items, so my video next week will mainly be meal clips of the meals that I'm making with these foods. So if you wanna see that, make sure you um, set your notifications to see my videos every Saturday. Make sure you subscribe if you like seeing these big Aldi hauls every two weeks. And give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate these tips on how to save some money on your groceries. I'll see you guys next time with another grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.